Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make the dangle beaded chain and it's really pretty and this is one I've already made so yeah and you can attach it to your zipper or whatever you want your purse straps, your zippers, your um, cell phone, whatever you want basically and you're only going to need a few simple materials which are decorative beads which I already have strung onto my string like that and um, you'll also be needing a pair of scissors to measure and cut your string some cord or or any kind of string basically but make sure it's not too thin I'm using this one right here make sure it's very thick because you want your bracelet to be very secure and not to break You'll also be needing some sort of clasp, and I'm using a large lobster clasp. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but when you open it, it opens like that, and you close it like that. And you're basically just going to string, you're going to cut your string about 12 inches long, or whatever amount you want. You can basically just guess, but make sure it's pretty long, because you don't want it to be too short, because if you need... If you have extra string, you can always cut it off, but you have to have enough string so that you can make a knot on the clasp. So I've already beaded on my my um my beads because it'll take too long to show you me putting on all the beads. Basically, you'll need decorative beads, and you can um, line them up in any order you want. But I line mine up in like a stylish order, so it looks prettier. And so to start off, you're going to attach your clasp to your beaded string like this so you're gonna take your string and put it through your clasps loop then you're going to take your strand give it a twist and pull the knot through. So make sure your clasp is down when you do this knot because otherwise it'll be too far away from the string. I'm going to be doing it again to make it more secure. So pull your knot tight. You can pull it pretty tight because this is elastic so it'll stretch. And I'm going to do it again make it more secure so put the strand through give the knot a twist pull the strand through all right so now I've secured my clasp to my beaded string and all you're going to do now is dab some glue on your knot. Or if you don't have glue, you can use clear nail polish, whatever you want, basically. Basically something sticky. Make sure it dries all the way before you wear it. And you're going to snip off your ends really close to your knot. Like around here. And same thing for the bottom right here and there you have your your beaded dangle chain so yeah thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make the dangle beaded chain please comment rate subscribe and bye